Hi, my name is Rog Bob, and I'm your commentator, and this is DCW. Now, we got a rematch tonight. It's Mr. Vito versus Sheamus, and this is the third match these guys had. Now, y'all know Sheamus got another job on another wrestling promotion, and at the end of that match, Mr. DeVito showed up, and well, he's clearly telling Sheamus that he ain't happy with a kick-in that he received on the last match. Uh, he's starting another fight with Sheamus here, and this has led to the match tonight, which we have right here. It's Mr. DeVito versus Sheamus in DCW for the third time. Now, Sheamus has won the first two matches, but this is a different Mr. DeVito. This is a pissed off Mr. DeVito. And believe me, you don't want to be on the wrong side of Mr. DeVito. Uh, he, he does like a headbutt, and it's well known that Mr. DeVito has got an incredibly hard head. If he hits you with that thing, you're going to know about it. But Seamus is a tough guy. I'm pretty sure he got a hard head too. See, this is the thing. Seamus easily overpowers Mr. DeVito. Easily. He's got more strength. Look at that. Boom. But I tell you this. Mr. DeVito is not a quitter. Mr. DeVito will fight. And he's technical. Look at that. Look at that. And there's a nice flying forearm. I don't quite think he hit the whole thing. But it was enough to knock Seamus down. And there's a slap. He's just telling him. I ain't got no respect for you anymore Seamus. Not after what you did to me in the last match. That's what he's saying to him. And he just unloaded with another Lufez press. And I tell you, you don't normally see more than one of those out of Mr. Vito in a match. But he clearly lost it. There's not going to be a lot of wrestling going on here by the looks of things. Mr. Vito sticking to the headbutts and the fists. This is going to be a fight for Seamus. But there, countering. He's got that power. He's got that power that Mr. Vito's got to deal with. And here's a submission move. Seamus has got a lot of strength. I don't know how well Mr. DeVito can deal with this. But Seamus just let him go. I think, again, Seamus just wants to hurt him like he did in the last match. But that's going to be a mistake here, I think. Because Mr. DeVito, he don't want to lose. And when he don't want to lose, he going to make sure he don't lose. Well, he's going to do everything he can. He went for that diving headbutt on the floor there and missed. But there's a couple of standing headbutts. And here we go back. He's grabbing him. He is really trying to hurt him here. There is no wrestling going on here for Mr. DeVito. This is a fight. This is Mr. DeVito. And he says, come on, Seamus. What you got? You want to squash me? Let's see what you can do when I'm giving it. And there he goes. Chop block. Straight to the knee. Taking him down. Mr. DeVito is in firm control of this match. I think Seamus, all he did was piss him off. He missed that with that chop block. But back to the spinning heel kick. Yeah, that, that gets him out of a lot of trouble, that spinning heel kick. Here he goes with the Irish whip. Throwing him in the corner now. What's Mr. Vito going to do? Ah, right, straight back on that head. This is the point. This is what Mr. Vito's game plan is. He's going to try and knock him out. He's going to wear down that head. Hopefully Seamus don't know where he is, but... I don't know, with Seamus smashing Mr. DeVito's head into the floor like that, I think Mr. DeVito could be the one that gets knocked out. Because as I said before, Seamus has got a lot of strength, a lot of power. And that's going to take his soul getting your head smashed in the floor by a guy that big. And Seamus going back to work on that head and neck. Mr. DeVito trying to fight out of it. He's trying to find his way, but he's not doing it. Seamus wrenches back there. He wrenching back. Mr. No, Mr. DeVito's got it. And there he goes, little jawbreaker there. Gets out of that move, and that, that hurt that head of Seamus once again. Trying for a suplex, but Seamus too powerful for him. And there's that powerful European uppercut. Seamus going straight down for the cover. I think he knows he's in trouble. I think he knows he underestimated Mr. DeVito, and that Mr. DeVito in the last match underestimated Sheamus and what Sheamus was capable of. But then Sheamus did attack him on the way down to the ring, and, and that must have really thrown Mr. DeVito off of the whole last match. 
shouldn't be an excuse when he says he's that good, but it's understandable because as we're seeing right here, Mr. DeVito is absolutely unloading on Sheamus right now. It's going up. Houston hangover, spinning leg drop, straight to the head. He's going for that cover. He's been working over that head the entire match. And there's not been a massive amount of wrestling. Here you go with that neck snap. Sheamus ain't ready to go down yet. I think Mr. DeVito going to have to headbutt him a few more times. I don't think it's going to take a whole lot for Sheamus to knock Mr. DeVito out. But there he goes back to those legs. And straight back to that head. Bam. Dirty knee drop. Straight to the head. Sheamus not giving up. No, no, no. He ain't ready yet. Pouring Mr. DeVito into the corner. I don't know if Sheamus knows what he wants to do. Mr. DeVito back to that Lufus press. Unloading with those punches. He really trying to knock Sheamus out in this one. Sheamus there with a nice little takedown. And a few punches of the head to, of his own. And this is what I'm saying about that strength difference. I mean, Mr. DeVito may have done free Lufus press. But I think just one set of punches from Sheamus is probably... The same as three sets of punches from Mr. DeVito. And there's a fall away slam and a stomp. Sheamus. I don't know. I think he could still walk out of here beating Mr. DeVito. But what's Sheamus doing? Is this uh, Sheamus don't know what to do? Don't know how to put Mr. DeVito away? Mr. DeVito, watch this. Oh, I said Shining Wizard. Knee to the head. But Sheamus countering the Bulldog. That could have been it for Sheamus right there. If Mr. DeVito had hit that Bulldog, I mean, the, the work he's done on Sheamus' head. I don't know how much Sheamus has got left in him. It looks like a fair bit, though. He's going for that move, and we've seen that put Mr. DeVito away before, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but he fucked Mr. DeVito up anyway. And this is this it. Mr. DeVito kicks out. I do not believe. I thought that was it. I thought that was a free count. Miss, and there's that bro kick. There's that bro kick. Sheamus just got to get the cover. Sheamus gets the cover now. It's all over. Mr. DeVito came into this match. Fighting. Throwing punches. Throwing kicks. Headbutts. He gave Sheamus everything he had. A man, it wasn't enough. Mr. DeVito now. He don't know what to do in this at that short range crossbody. We know we've seen him put people away with this before. Is this going to be it for Sheamus? And Sheamus is out of it. Sheamus is out of it. Mr. DeVito really does not know what to do with Sheamus right now. This is this could be any man's match right here. I think the next big move could quite potentially be the end of the match, and that in my book. Is a big move. That is a big overhead. Belly to belly suplex. And uh, Sheamus just wrenching on the head. Mr. DeVito fighting back. He ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. But he, he can't capitalize. He just ain't got it in him. And there's a Finlay roll. Sheamus, what's he doing? Idiot. Just ran into the ref. Knocked the referee down. Now he's going to the top rope. Bam, he hits that elbow drop, but there's no referee to take the cover. Sheamus, what is he going to do? Mr. DeVito knocking Sheamus to the floor, and it looks like he's going to go for that finishing move. The RKO, if you will. We got to come up with a better name for that, Mr. DeVito. But there you go. There's a one. And a two. Is this it? Three, it's over. Mr. DeVito gets the win. Over Sheamus, a man, what a fight. What a fucking fight. That went back and forth. Mr. DeVito cut Sheamus open. He showed him that he can fight. Now, I don't think this is over. I think, yeah, Sheamus is saying there's another day for me and you. Well, this has been DCW, and we'll see you in the next match.